you know, that sort of goes to my next question is, what advice do you have for aspiring leaders? Stay off of social media and <coughs> get uh, the facts? And well, you know, that's a great question. Um, I would say get a mentor. Mm -hmm. Understand what it is that you think you want to do and find the right person to work with. If, if you want to be on the city council, find one of us that, that you're compatible with okay. and ask a lot of questions. Understand the process. How does this whole thing work? Mm -hmm. um, it, it's important to have a basis in, in knowledge, so get involved on programming, get, get involved in a community, okay. volunteer for things, meet people, mm -hmm. understand how the city, city operates. Uh, you can have uh, some, some basic ideas about things, but you might find a little surprise when you really get into it. Um, it might not be what you think it is. One of, one of a, a surprise that I had was that I expected that the business of the city would move like the private business does, and that doesn't <laughs> happen. I ran a, a, a business for a number of years, and, and if I wanted something done, I'd say, okay, you take care of this, get back to me if you have a problem with that, report back. Let's get this thing moving. In city or, or government life, right. it's different. There's more of a process. There's legal boundaries that have to be followed. There's policies mm -hmm. that have been enacted for different reasons. Positive uh, and negative. Both positive and negative. We're trying to clean up some of the right. negative things and trying to influence more positive things. Uh, less rules are better. Mm -hmm. But in, in uh, government, you find that people think rules are important, and some of them I could argue about. Right. But anyway, uh, you'll find that um, these rules need to be followed. And things like permits, mm -hmm. basic things that I had no conception of. I thought, well, we're the government. We can, we can cut our own weeds in, in, out back here in the, in the canal. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't cut the weeds, it'll create flood zones further down. And, and we don't want to flood out our neighbors. But it's not that easy. We have to get special permits. We have to go to the Army Corps of Engineers. We have to go to these government entities that probably have no idea who they are, and we have mm -hmm. to write checks to them. So we take the taxpayers' money, we give them. So it's really just about bureaucracy and it money. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is. And it's, um, I have a low tolerance for that. Mm -hmm. I find it very frustrating that common sense doesn't play a bigger role in this. Right. Uh, so another piece of advice I would give to an aspiring person that may want to have a seat up here is have tough skin because you get criticized. There's people out there that are just not happy, and they'll never be happy. Mm -hmm. uh, there's folks that refuse to abide by the facts. They are strong in their emotions and their opinions, and you have to be able to wor work with people like that. Mm -hmm. uh, the microphone over here next to us at City Council Chambers is, is a forum. Uh, people come in, and, and they have three minutes to express their opinion. And some, some people walk away from here going, I can't believe you guys do something like this. But it's, it's part of the job. Um, so, Barry, tell me what your goals are as, as a community leader. Well, <clears throat> you'll find out that the main goal, mm -hmm. when you get elected to the city council, you, you typically you come in, we have small offices here at City Hall, and, and you come into your office on the first day, and you'll find a little card on your desk or a little note there. And when I opened mine up, it had one line. Don't screw it up. <laughs> and uh, that's the mantra. Uh -huh. We inherited something here in Poway that's special. Mm -hmm. There's a reason people like to live in Poway. There's a culture that's been developed over the years. There's been a lot of effort made by the folks before us right. to set the city up a certain way, have the city operate in a certain fashion. And we inherited that. Mm -hmm. So our number one goal, don't screw it up. Secondly, uh, and, and more realistically, one of the goals I have is to improve our financial situation. Okay. For years, we've had the benefit of having redevelopment money. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been the golden goose that, that paid for a lot of bills around here. Mm -hmm. uh, a few years back, Jerry Brown recognized that we had money in the bank and he could get his hands on it, so they passed legislation to take our money away from us and shut down redevelopment. That funding source has gone away. Mm -hmm. That funding source was very important to the operation of the city. Now we have to watch our budget much more closely. Right. Uh, that's, so it's, it's incumbent on us to make sure that we make the tough decisions 
to not spend money on certain things okay. and cut back on things and try and increase our revenue side because our expenses continue to increase. Okay. And it's critical now because in, in Poway, the number one thing in Poway is public safety. Right. All of us want to live in a safe environment. Sure. It comes at a huge cost. More than half of our budget is for sheriff services and fire services. Okay. And in Poway, we're a little bit unique. We have uh, the fire department who is part of the team. Fire department are city employees. Uh, they're just the same as most everybody else who works for the city. Mm -hmm. The sheriff's department runs under a county contract. Right. We don't negotiate that. The county negotiates that with them, and then they pass the cost on to us. Okay. So we're spending well over $50 million towards getting pol uh, police services and fire services, which is emergency services, right. in the city. That cost continues to increase. So if we don't increase our revenue side, we need to decrease some of the other expenses we have. So one of my goals is to make sure that we leave the city financially in better shape than we found it. Got it. Okay.